But I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I don't think Elden Ring is going to be a failure, like, far from that, far from that. Like, I think Elden Ring will be great, it's just that, you know, I'll never be satisfied with just, like, settle settling in for a game that is basically Dark Souls 3.5 combat. Like, I don't want to settle for that. I want this to, if it's going to be Dark Souls 3.5, I at least want it to fix some of the, like, more obvious issues that Dark Souls 3 had. And some of the mo more uh, glaring issues that Dark Souls 3 had were, first of all, the you know the latency problem, the latency and the, and the lag. Like that, that is my number one thing that I think everyone would uh, would agree with. And then the second issue for me is uh, is that weapon balance. Like I just want a bit a bit better balance overall. Like uh, as much as Dark Souls 3 probably has a better balance than than previous Souls games, I think. Um, I think like the murky and PK are a bit too strong still compared to the rest of the weapons and I would even go as, as far as to say that like there's some slow weapons and some axes and some maces that are just a, a bit a bit too underpowered like this is this is what I want like this is my premise for, like for everything like every bit of my content that you're gonna be seeing like Elden Ring related in, in the lead up to Elden Ring like this is my premise this is what I want Obviously, not everyone wants the same thing, but I think like these are fairly general demands and fairly like widely accepted in the PvP community. Although like the, the large, the largest portion of the Elden Ring player base will not necessarily care about those things, and I'm fully aware of that. But I think like beyond what I just said there, I think that's exactly why it's important to voice your opinion. Because if I'm not saying it, if Amir is not saying it, if Dengue Jim is not saying it, like, we're really, like, the only voices, and you guys, like, we're the only voices to, like, to change this. Like, no one else, like, in the community is gonna, like, make changes to this. Like, we are, like, the PvP community, like, there's no one else besides us, so... If you want things to be good in the long term, if you want this for the better of, uh, of the game's longevity, like, this is what we need to do. We need to talk about these things. Not just fucking wait for everything to be confirmed. Like, everyone's like, yeah, the game's not out. Just wait for it. Stop whining about it. No, dude. You have to talk about these things. Like, you cannot just wait for it to happen and then fucking... You know, and, and then fucking, like, cry that it's, it's not as you want it. You have to mention those things now. Like... I see so many people saying, like, just wait for the game, like, why can't you wait? Like, no, dude, you have to... This guy has good net, uh, his tracking's pretty good. Like, you have to mention those things before, um, before the game releases. And even uh, before the network test, if possible. It was a bad swap, but uh, yeah, unfortunate. Okay, um, now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm actually gonna focus on this invasion because I was not really paying much attention. Okay, because the goal here in this invasion is gonna be to... Uh, to kill the other guy but we didn't have a chance okay um we just need some separation which we're not getting. Okay, well, I mean, this, <laughs> this guy almost died earlier and he's making sure that, for me, that... I did not see the host properly because the damn fucking PvE. Now the gun deer. Yeah, I saw that.
appreciate that you're trying to ill me. <laughs> DS3 patches are an evidence that From Software does care about how invasions and PvP, PvP works. Yeah, I completely agree. But they don't design the games with invasion and PvP first. There is a distinction. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think about the crafting system? I'm going to be honest. I actually don't have an educated opinion because I don't think I've seen anything. <laughs> it's too... Uh, what I've seen is, is too basic to like say if it's good or bad I think it's good like I don't see how it would be bad but like I just don't I can't tell you yet like how it's gonna change the game like I have no idea all around Damn. those of you who didn't yet that's like that's like what I'm worried about Omega is not in trouble here that's why I'm taking my time to do all these buffs Well, I think I was good help. <laughs> the poop! <laughs> the poop! I love it. Favorite moment. You remember, guys, in the Elden Ring uh, gameplay showcase, there's a part where uh, the character has a, a curved greatsword, and he's doing a jump, and then he does an R1 midair against an enemy. That feature right there, to me, is a very good sign, okay? Like, that feature right there, to be able to do a an attack while you're midair, is an extremely good sign. Why is that? Because th that sort of gives you a, um, a way to catch someone that keeps jumping everywhere, like I mentioned. Like, jumping on rocks, jumping on everything. If you're chasing someone down jumping, you can at least attack back while jumping, right? And they cannot dodge while they're jumping. At least, I hope so. But, uh... That sort of gives us a, a ray of light, okay? So to me, that was that's a very important thing, and we know it's there. So if you want to have that positive mindset, here you go. Like that's that's one thing I'm um, I'm very uh, very happy with. I think if you have like, I think the way you make spells better. And weapons better too, like I'm talking slow weapons, like Ultra Greatsword, stuff like that. Is you increase the amount of active frames uh, and you make it so that if the opponent... If you predict where the opponent is rolling, you can actually like catch said opponent with the end of your swing. So like imagine for a second that... Um, imagine for a second that this R1 here like has active frames like until the very very end. And so, like, if you have someone rolling, like, toward you, like, okay, they can roll past you unscathed if they roll, like, through you, right? But if you do, like, this, and you, like, your swing ends when, uh, where, like, the player ends up, because you have so many active frames, it catches them. Like, that's sort of how you would balance, like, a heavy weapon. It doesn't need to be faster, but it has this sort of frame trap potential, because the, the amount of active frames is so high that... Uh, it prevents the other guy, or like, you can sort of like, catch other people if you can predict where they're rolling. Yet, it's not overpowered, because the other guy doesn't need to roll, like, uh, in range. Like, the play would be to roll outside of the range. So to me, this is how you sort of balance this stuff. This is how I would do it. But I'm not necessarily saying that this is the best method. And I'm not necessarily advocating or like, promoting that necessarily. Uh, it's just an idea. All I want is for From Software to make these weapons more viable, like the Ultra weapons, even Magic. No matter how, like no matter how, but at the same time not by sacrificing the core idea that the aggressive player should be rewarded, not the passive one. Somebody tell From Sub that region is OP as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I don't think they're, um... I don't think they're really aware of, like, everything that's going on. Like, these days with the PvP and all of that. 
like I said, they probably just watch like one big streamer here and there. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I kind of feel bad for that guy. 